Hi there, it's Megan, and welcome to the Learn to Monetize More video series. Today, we'll discuss the basics of Google Publisher Tags. In this tutorial, we're going to dissect the elements of Google Publisher Tags, or GPTs. The technology behind these new tags has transformed the way Google serves ads. These tags improve page load time and overall interaction of the ad with the site's code. Soon, we'll take a peek under the hood and delve into the code to see how GPTs function on a web page. Are you ready? Let's jump right in. There is a one-to-one -one relationship between the Google Publisher tag and the corresponding ad unit. For every ad on your web page, you will have a corresponding Google Publisher tag that tells the ad server what creative size, ad unit, and targeting criteria it requires. To implement a Google Publisher tag on your web page, you must insert it in between the head element of the HTML source code within your web page. You will also need to implement Google Publisher body tags in the body section of the HTML source code, where you would like your ad placements to show on your page. If you are replacing AdSense, for example, you will replace the AdSense code with the corresponding Google Publisher body tag. Now that we know where the Google Publisher tag is to go within the web page, let's deconstruct the pieces of the GPT. Take a look at the screen to see a GPT and notice the first segment of code. These first few lines are standard code that calls the DFP library. Generally, publishers don't need to make any changes to this first segment of the GPT. Publishers have the freedom to modify GPTs. For example, you can modify the style element by inserting a style override for your ad using this code snippet as an example. This portion of the tag references sizes and targeting, as well as network codes. Notice the portion backslash 1234 backslash monetize more backslash videos backslash DFP. What this references is the network code, represented by 1234, and the targeted ad unit, monetize more backslash videos backslash DFP. You can look up your network code in the admin tab within DFP. Publishers may also choose how the ads will be rendered or served. What are rendering options? Publishers can choose asynchronous rendering, which allows the ad to load simultaneously with your page's content. Please note that this method may decrease page load time. We use the asynchronous setup in our examples because it is default on DFP. Another option is synchronous rendering. This setup loads the ads first and then the content. Some sites monetize better with DFP synchronous because the ads get higher viewability and click-through rates because the content waits for the ads. However, it can also hurt page load times and user experience. We recommend publishers use asynchronous rendering without single request mode enabled. When single request mode is enabled, ads may load quicker via one consolidated request. However, reporting is less reliable and unfilled ad impressions increase. Here is an example of the rendering segment of the GPT. Once all the initial head code snippets are implemented, the ad is rendered. The GPT is generally implemented within a div element or a container specified by the webmaster for the single and multi-sized ads. I hope this lesson demystified Google Publisher tags. GPTs ensure faster load times as compared to Google Ad Manager tags, also known as GAM tags, as well as provide for passbacks and SSL support. If your site has GAM tags already implemented, they will still function. However, GPTs are easy to generate and implement, so we recommend swapping out GAMs for GPT tags to reap the benefits. Would you like to download a copy of the GPT code example we reviewed in this lesson? If so, please click the link here and download the GPT tag. You can also download it from here monetizemore.com slash google dash publisher dash tag. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.